the last years highlighted many social injustices. These magnified that cities work differently for various people and the need to interrogate how urban life is entangled with questions of power. We long for more diverse and nuanced insights into how the city works as a space of belonging. Not from the professional eyes of those who design it, but from those who live in it. To this end, a collective of planners and researchers initiated the Urban Belonging Project as a quest to document the lived experience of underrepresented groups in Copenhagen. The Urban Belonging Project takes an alternative way to engage underrepresented communities. We engage participants who self-identify as deaf, LGBTQ+, homeless, internationals, ethnic minorities, people with physical disabilities, and people with mental vulnerabilities. First, we talk to their local representative organizations to let their insights about each group shape the project. Then, 33 participants were invited to show us the city from their perspective, using participatory photography and map making. With an app developed for this project, Participants went on walks to take photos of situations and places that gave them a positive or negative sense of belonging. Over the course of 10 days, participants went on more than 100 walks and captured more than 1,400 photos of Copenhagen. They also filled out a spatial survey answering questions about their life in the city by drawing maps. Working collaboratively in workshops to interpret their own data, produce illustrations and narratives, we centered analytical and storytelling power in the participants. The result is a unique catalogue of photos, maps, data visualizations and scenarios of the socially sustainable city. The catalogue qualifies what belonging means to different people maps geospatial patterns of where different marginalized identities have positive and negative experiences, opens conversations about how we experience the same places differently, and crafts an intersectional gaze on the city. Now, we are working on turning insights into design principles, future scenarios, and a public exhibition about the socially sustainable city.